Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Thanks for joining us. So it is December, amazing. This year has gone by so quickly and yet it has taken so long to get through. Uh, but it is December, it's a little chilly out, which is nice, and Christmas is coming. Guys, Christmas is coming. And you know what that means, presents. This year we're gonna be making a lot of our presents, but before we make presents, we gotta make the thing to make the presents. So I'm actually going to be putting together some pieces of a blacksmithing forge uh, that I've kind of come up with so that I can utilize my skills that I've been learning this past year at blacksmithing class. That's right, me and my son have been taking blacksmith lessons from a local blacksmith association uh, close by and uh, we've been having a lot of fun. He was really interested in it and, and uh, sparked his uh, his imagination so I, uh, I my wife actually signed us up for some classes and we've been taking them this past year it's been a whole lot of fun we've met some great people uh, it's something that uh, he and I both are really enjoying but we really haven't had an opportunity to do it here on the homestead so today we're gonna try to fix that I've gone to the store and kind of put some pieces together uh, that I think will work uh, to make a small propane forge that we can utilize to make some small projects here on the homestead. So I've never done this before. I don't know if it's gonna work. Hopefully it will, but uh, I guess we'll find out together. Uh, so let's, uh, let's dig into this and see if we can make a propane forge burner. One of the things that I think that we're going to need to build this little forge that I have planned. Uh, first thing is a regulator. Now this is going to be a high pressure regulator, the one with the little red knob, knob here. Um, a standard like uh, regulator for a gas grill or something like that. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna have enough pressure to uh, put out enough gas. The next thing that we're gonna need is a shutoff valve. This is to shut the gas off completely because uh, the regulator doesn't always go down all the way to zero. Uh, the next thing is a reducer bushing. This will reduce it from the half inch coming out of the shutoff valve down to the 1 8 inch to go into the nipple. Everybody likes a good nipple. Here's a uh, four inch one. Uh, this should work just fine. Then at the end of the nipple is a coupling that will then allow us to connect a brass plug. Finally, we're gonna stick it all inside of a black uh, steel tube. Uh, I just got a, uh, what is this, a eight inch? Yeah, eight inch black tube. Um, so ultimately, this nipple will slide in down there. We'll have little flared ends connected on there. And that'll create a venturi effect, sucking in air, causing a slight vacuum, and then causing the air to, to rush out and give it a little bit more oomph as it mixes with the gas. And then for the forge itself, I've got these fire bricks, and I have no idea if they're going to work or not. They say that they're good for up to 2,700 degrees, uh, so we'll see. And then I've got this uh, um, uh, ceramic fiber uh, blanket. Now some of the tools that I foresee needing will be a drill motor. I'm going to use my Dremel and I'll show you what I'm going to use that for here in just a second. Drill tap set and then some very minuscule little drill bits. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, drill a very small pinhole in the end cap right here. So I'm going to start with my very smallest drill bit and uh, if that works well then we'll leave it at that. If not then we'll step it up until we get a good flow and a good nice hot heat. Now that should hold it right there. I'm going to use my smallest drill bit which is like a 1 32nd which is really really tiny and I hope that I don't break it. Slide down in there right like that. There. I think we're through. Very tiny little pinhole. So next, grab little coupling and they'll 
get a nice tight fit. We'll tighten all this down with a uh, wrench here in just a moment. And this guy gets on there. And this guy goes right there. right there and that will go right there slide right there in the middle. Now, what we're going to do is this is going to sit in there just like that. And then what we'll end up doing is we'll just drill some tap holes in the side there and the side there. So it makes like an X. And then we'll just use some of my screws out of my box here. These will just screw in there and hold that nipple in place. And then we can make minute, minute adjustments to get it to shoot straight down into the uh, into the pipe. That's the idea, anyways. That's the idea. Done. So we just drilled a hole straight through here and then straight through here. Uh, and that way we can put those little screws in there and hold that nipple right in the center. Ideally, that's what's going to happen. So now what we need to do is we need to tap these for a, uh, a number 10 screw. Uh, and yeah, I think that I've got that tap right here. So let's put this back in that little vise. It's amazing what you can do with cheap tools, isn't it? Don't need all this big fancy equipment. Nothing like a $30 vise. So what we're doing here is we'll just run this down through that little hole, keeping it nice and straight. Put some threads in that. Nice and slow. It'll bite in there. And then... Cut out those threads for that screw. That's tight. There we go. There we go. Now we're good. So we'll just run it through a couple times forward and then backwards and pull it out. Now, if we did it right, we should be able to put the screw right in there. It'll go right in, just like that. Okay, well, that uh, that was fairly painless. Got all the uh, little screw holes drilled and tapped. That was actually my first time ever really tapping anything like that for a uh, for a bolt. So it went fairly well. Got this uh, this little Dewalt uh, tap set. That worked really, really well. It, uh, it was actually really quite easy, uh, kind of self-explanatory as far as how it, all, how it all works. And it's got a number of, uh, of sizes available. Um, so that was pretty cool. And I think, where's the screw? It should, uh, it should work. All the little screws just go in there just like that. So I'll get that adjusted and uh, drop our nipple in there. And then I'll go grab our uh, uh, propane tank and see if we can get some fire going.
All right, so what we've got here, we've got the nipple drop down in there, got these four little set screws that are all holding it in there good and tight so it's not going anywhere. Now let's get our gas line hooked up. Here we go. I'm gonna open that gas. Then we'll shut that off and we will pressurize that. Okay. Woo! Now we're cooking! Haha! <laughs> Woo! There we go. <laughs> that worked! That's awesome. That is so cool. So we'll go through and we'll tighten up all these connections. Uh, this was just a proof of concept to make sure that it would work. It does look like it's gonna work, so that's exciting. And uh, maybe we'll be able to, uh, to get some of this stuff together so we can start forging here on the homestead. Well guys, I think that's about all the time that we have for today, but hey, we've got a, a, a gas forge blower uh, for what? I think it was 40 bucks in parts. And then this little hose cost another 12 bucks. So like 60 bucks, uh, under 65 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below of all the parts and pieces and tools that I used that I can find on Amazon. So that if you wanna build something like this yourself, uh, you can uh, have a little bit better chance of, of finding it. I had to go to the hardware store like three or four times to find all the different pieces that were gonna fit together. Um, but I think, that, uh, I think that it's gonna work. We'll see if it puts out enough heat uh, for all that. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, feel free to subscribe and see more of what we got going on here on the homestead. I do believe that there's going to be some blacksmithing in the near future. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.